What is up, fragrance family? My name is James, and you are watching Cheapy Fragrance Reviews, episode number one. That's right. This is an iconic moment that you will never forget, ever. Yep. This is going to be a awesome uh, channel video debut, or I don't know. Uh, we're going to launch the channel right now, and you're going to be a part of it. So today, what we have for you is a pretty decent sized fragrance haul. Uh, we have some from some fragrances in from fragrancebuy.ca and then a few cheapies I picked up from Marshalls and Ross while I uh, went to Vegas a few weeks ago. So uh, stay tuned and I'll be right back with you and we will get into this. So there are a lot of fragrances, so I'm gonna kind of run through these pretty quickly. Um, some of these are gonna be first impressions. Some of them just gonna give you kind of a little bit rundown what the fragrance is, what it does, how it smells, you know the bit. So uh, we will start off with Guess Man Gold. Pick this up for $19.99 from Marshalls in Las Vegas, right on the strip. So let's check it out. I've never heard of Guess Man Gold. Um, I looked it up to see where it was, when it came, I couldn't find a thing on it. Um, it's not on Fragrantica, it's not on, uh, base notes, it's, it's nowhere. So, it's a two and a half ounce bottle. Ooh, that's sharp. It looks a lot like uh, the original Guess Man, the, that silver bottle with the green insert, but this is gold and it's a, a purple juice inside that. And let's find out what this smells like. Sorry for the cut. Uh, I made the ultimate rookie move on the first video and I forgot my tester strips. So now let's get into it. That's really good. It's a lot better than a, than I thought it would be for a guest fragrance. It's uh, it's very very fresh and inviting up top. It's got a a bitter herbaceous kind of top to it. Mm. This would be good for the fall, actually. Um, I'm glad I picked this up when I did. It's it's soft, it's, it's got a real soft, I think there's some lavender in here. Yeah, there's definitely lavender, but it's also got some spiciness. So there's a nice soft powdery, powdery opening. Um, and it, a little bit of citrus, maybe. It's very soft probably built upon musk and maybe sandalwood. Yeah, it's got that creamy, soft, just almost like warm, fuzzy blanket kind of kind of vibe to it. But it's also got this green, green spiciness to it. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. I like it a lot, actually. For 20 bucks, I'm uh, I would strongly recommend Guess Gold Man or Guess Man Gold. All right, so this one picked up Lacoste Loam Intense, and I don't remember where I got this one from, whether it was uh, Ross or Marshalls, but those were the two that I hit on the strip uh, when I was in Vegas. So, and I have Lacoste Loam Timeless and Lacoste Loam. I love Loam, I love that rhubarb note but I don't have the intense and uh, I've heard great things about it. Um, I've heard it's kind of redundant, but overall, um, I think it's, I've heard it's a, a more well-rounded fragrance um, that gets more love than the, than the EDT. So let's smell this guy. Hmm. 
Mm, gosh. I love this one, guys. If you ever see uh, Lacoste Loam kicking around at the rack stores, pick it up. Like, it's 20 bucks. You got to get it. It smells so good. The rhubarb note, that bitter, sour, sweet, sour kind of vibe that it gives is so, so, so good. Mmm. It's got that spiciness in here. It's got some ginger. Mmm. It's more fruity than the, than the original. Mmm. That almond note. It's so good, you guys. So good. This has a little bit, it's it's kind of a, uh, it's it's woodier. I'd say this is, is real close to Lacoste Loam, um, the original, which is rhubarb heavy. You're gonna have citrus. You're gonna have like uh, some fruitiness to it, but this, uh, and, and some woodiness to it. But this is, this is a, I'd say spicier, more citrusy, and it's got some, it's got a fruity note that the original doesn't have. It's it's fruitier. It's it's this is more well-rounded. It's more it, it it's it's got a deeper feel to it. Um, I'm so glad I got this. I'm so glad I found it and finally pulled the trigger. I'm picking it up um, because that's one that I've wanted for a long time and just never got around to getting it. So now I got it and uh, it will go behind, beside its uh, brothers in the line, uh, right behind me, somewhere around there. Okay, the next one we got is Mercedes-Benz Man Gray. And the only other one I have in this particular line is Mercedes-Benz Man, the original in the black bottle with the, uh, the blue Mercedes emblem in the center. Kind of a funky looking bottle. And this one's the little 50 ml, so it's his little, it's his little brother. And so it's gray with that clear uh, see-through glass. Uh, and the, the other one is a black, a black shell, uh, plastic shell with a uh, blue glass for the Mercedes emblem. Come on there. Definitely clicks into place. All right, let's smell this bad boy. Okay. It's, it's, it's very powdery. Maybe iris in here. Mm. It's got like this rosiness to it. It's like a powdery citrus. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. I, it's not exciting. It's pretty forgettable. Um, it's got some spiciness to it. It's it's soft. Um, I don't think. I mean, it's probably a good transitional fragrance, um, summer into fall. Uh, I don't know if this would cut through the cold. Uh, this isn't gonna work for winter for me. Um, I, I'm guessing that it's a pretty fleeting, fleeting fragrance. Uh, it's probably gonna last on my skin probably about four hours. I just, just from the, I mean, it's it's a test, it's a test strip, so it's hard to pinpoint something like that off of here. But it's not projecting real heavily. It's real soft coming off this paper. It's in the vein of something like a. It's not like Prada Loam, but it's it's kind of that that clean, fresh. This isn't so soapy like Prada is. It's more fresh, spicy, um, and uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Overall, for what the what fifteen twenty dollars I spent on it, I could have done worse. That's for sure. Now, the big box. This is uh, from Fragrance Buy. This came in like four or five days ago and I've been waiting to open it for this video 
and I've had to get other things in my life settled around. So I've been waiting to open this box so bad. There's some things in here that I've wanted so long. And uh, it's fitting that we would open it up on my first video. First out of the box, we're just gonna, this, you're gonna have to wait and see what everything's in here because I'm just gonna pull them one by one. John Paul Gaultier, Le Mal, Le Parfum. This isn't my first, uh, this isn't my first time smelling this, so this won't be my first impression. Um, but I smelled this uh, in the department store in Macy's and I had to own it. It smells so freaking good. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Uh, this will join Ultramall and uh, the Mall in the Navy. Those are the only two I still have. Um, I gave my son my original in mall and because uh, he just loves it he's he's seven and he likes the bottle and he likes the scent it's playful so it's perfect he's the freshest smelling kid in this in this for her second grade class oh gosh this one i'm gonna put this on right after i'm done recording this video but right now i'm gonna just smell it off the tester oh Ambery goodness. It's got cardamom in here. It's got lavender, iris, vanilla. Oh, it's so good, you guys. It is so good. It's the best, best limol that I've smelled, hands down. This is the best one. I mean, that's my opinion, obviously, but there is just, you can't beat this one. It's so soft. It's so it feels luxurious. It just feels like it's wrapping you in a blanket. And it's... And my wife loves this on me, so... So that's, that's that. Oh, I'm so happy to have this. All right. Next. Mont Blanc Emblem Intense. So I have... Uh, Mont Blanc Emblem is the only one of... Uh, the emblem line that I have. I have a ton of Mont Blanc, uh, but Ross from TLTG Reviews, um, I'd be honored if he ever sees this video, but shout out to him. Um, he's a he's a big fan of this one, and uh, I bought it because of him. So he uh, made it sound real nice, like he does many fragrances. There's probably a whole cube in there um, I could fill with things that Ross uh, got me to buy so he's one of my favorite reviewers mm, and that's good too this is good it's pretty close to the original it's pretty close to this guy here but uh, it's deeper. It's got it's it's much much more going on in it, it feels like, but it's got the same feel. There's some really really good apple notes coming off of this. And I don't know if it's it's got that same spicy benzoin or, or cinnamon that the original emblem has. I don't know if there's rose in this or not. I didn't but it's got not like a real feminine rose, but just a hint, hint of that, just a hint of floral to it. it but I don't remember being in an emblem really. It doesn't jump out at me like that in the other one. Mm. Soft, woody, spicy, kind of fruity. A little bit of citrus to it. It's got it all and it smells really nice. I'm gonna be wearing this tomorrow. All right, moving on, because we uh, don't wanna burn up too much time for my first video. I'm sure that uh, y'all aren't gonna be hanging around too long uh, for this amateur, but Diesel, only the Brave. And again, I've smelled this one, I haven't smelt it in a long time, but it won't be my first impression because uh, I have smelled it but I don't really remember it. 
my wife it's one that my wife actually um, smelled in uh, buckle and the store in the mall buckle and she really liked it and I you know I was like well I didn't want to pick it up at the time especially because at retail in there it was like seventy dollars so fragrance buy I think I picked it up for like less than under 40 or something hmm I can tell why she likes it. Um, it opens up with very, very citrusy, some lemon, but, and I remember now, um, there's a lemon note in this that I don't really care for, but I don't think it sticks around very long because I tried this on on skin and I remember it getting better. And so I'm sure it's also better on, on skin than the test strip, but it's very woody. It's got some nice citruses up top. It's not a bad fragrance. I just didn't want to get it for 70 bucks at the time. Very leathery. And kind of balsamic, but very leathery. It's the base is very heavy, very masculine. I'm gonna set this aside and see if that lemon off the top goes, uh, goes away. Uh, and I'll see how it, I'll smell it towards the end of the video and see see if I like it better but it's not bad okay what else do we got here Halloween man hero there's oh not too many of this line that I don't like um, but I've heard that this is much more blue than the other offerings um, that Halloween man X that coffee beautiful uh, $25 cheapy gem coffee gold all right let's smell this bad boy <laughs> very blue yeah very mass appealing mm. God. I have to lie that's good Very aquatic. Mm. Got some. I I don't know if it's bergamot or, or grapefruit, but some very bright citrus up top. Lemon, for sure, lemon. Mm. Kind of fruity. Not just citrus, but there's some fruit in here. And Broxen. Mm. I don't know what this is classified as, but it's kind of like I'd say, like if you could say, uh, 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 it, well, it's aquatic, but it's also it's kind of like a it's got a fougere vibe to it, which you would it's not that that's not the kind of thing you would think of with a blue fragrance, but it's got this earthiness. Yeah, that one's really good too. I'm I'm so happy with what I've opened so far. All of these are blind buys with the exception of the Lacoste Loam Intense. Um, only the Brave I'm gonna consider blind buy. Uh, and uh, except for the Lamal Le Parfum. So we're looking at Perry Ellis Portfolio Elite, the blue box. Right. I think Ross from TLTG Reviews uh, is the one that told me about this one too. I'm telling you, man, that guy makes me spend so much money. Okay. Hmm. This is different. I'm not a huge fan of fougeres. I'm just, it's just not my, not my go-to style, but this is very, this is a, this is kind of a, a pretty fresh, fresh fragrance. It's very aromatic. Mm. Spicy and woody.
very resinous and balsamic. It's pretty good. It's not, it's not the, the genre of fragrance that I go after often, but it is, I, I don't even remember what Ross said about it, to be honest. Um, but it, 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 cause I placed this order took me probably four weeks to get from when I ordered it and I got it in like four days ago. So, um, when I was adding things to my cart and I usually spend, you know, 10 days, uh, before I pull the trigger and, and, and send a, a purchase in, especially with fragrance buy, because if you spend, if you buy five fragrances, um, you'll get free shipping. So I usually try to hit that free shipping. This is pretty good. Um, probably, um, uh, probably right there with Mercedes-Benz man gray as far as my least favorite of the grouping so far but it's not terrible at all it's it's not a bad fragrance and I'll wear it it'll hit my rotation um, and uh, it'll probably be here within the next week or something I'll, I'll throw it in the rotation and give it a shot here is the finale Dior Fahrenheit Parfum this guy I smelled uh, I got a decant of this one uh, Chris from Fragmental, uh, UK reviewer, uh, he has a podcast uh, that he does with Steve and Frags to Riches. Shout out to both of you guys if you ever watch this. Um, again, two awesome reviewers. Uh, but I listen to their pod podcast, Scent Geeks, and they did a um, they did a. Uh, a smell and tell on that. I don't remember what they call it, but I'm going to just call it a smell and tell. And uh, they smelt it together for the first time and gave their first impressions in a podcast. And I thought that was really good. So I got a decant of it because I like the EDT. And they said it was more refined, easier to wear. And I loved it when I smelled it. So this is also not first impression, but this one I've wanted. Oh my God. Yes. Mm, that is so good. That suede note. Mm, a little bit of citrus popping through. That petroleum violet leaf masculinity and booziness. So boozy. It's so good. Oh, with that soft vanilla. One is so good so good expensive for a designer i mean not the most expensive designer i got but but for sure it's not a cheap one to get um again that's you know i i've got a ton of sprays um the loyalty rewards points that fragrance buy gives you built up so i, I used a 10 percent off coupon on top of getting this with free shipping so that's why i added this and the jean paul gaultier le parfum in there too so Ah, oh, this is so good. So good, you guys. Please get a sample of this. Try this. If you like if you like masculine fragrances that give just such a great like on skin this is amazing. It's it's way better on skin even. It's it's freaking amazing. It's so much easier it is. It's so much easier to wear. Like I went through the decant in like three days that I got. Um, it was just like a little five. Uh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I totally had happened what I thought might happen or what I was afraid of would happen. And my blithering on and on and on. And, um, and I think my, my camera just thought, yeah, this guy is just he needs to stop. And it cut me off. And so, unfortunately, when I was talking about Fahrenheit, Le Parf Le Fahrenheit Parfum, uh, my camera stopped recording. Uh, fortunately, I was pretty much done with anything uh, worth saying, but I didn't get to say goodbye to you guys. Uh, and so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. If you stayed and watched this whole video all the way through, that means so much to me. Um, there's a lot of great reviewers out there that you could be watching instead and getting great, great uh, information from. And I hope that I brought you something to the table that they don't. Um, I hope that I kept it interesting enough for you to keep
keep watching, uh, uh, you know, more videos in the future. I will release videos uh, as I can, maybe one to two a week. Uh, right now, it's 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 a hobby. So um, I have five kids, like I said, and I got a wife that wants my attention too, and uh, I love giving her my attention. So um, fragrances are uh, something that I'm really passionate about and I love, but I love my family too. So um, do me a favor, please comment on the things that you liked about this video. Comment about the things that you know I'm just not doing well. Tell me how many times I said what, uh, hmm, whatever, whatever. Um, but just from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching this very first debut video. And um, I hope that you liked it. You guys, God bless and have a wonderful day.